As we approach the Yantav of Shuas, we know that many have a custom to eat dairy products on Shavuos. I would like to sh- share three short answers explaining this unique custom. We know that Shavuos is, is the holiday in which the Jewish people receive the Torah. And it's therefore a day in which we, we can all, also recommit ourselves to learning of the Torah. The Sefer Tamim and Hagim writes that we know that uh, you know, having, having a meat meal is often much more, much more expensive, much more extravagant than eating a dairy, a dairy, a dairy meal. And therefore, because dairy is a, eating a dairy meal, a milchak meal, is, is less extravagant, more simple, it is a symbol of humility. And it's teaching us a lesson that if we want to learn Torah, humility is a key to remembering our Torah. It's often those who, who, who rely on their memory, their sharp wit, uh, those who think that they're superior to others. It is those people that, that don't remember the Torah. But with those who are humble, those who are humble, those are the people that, that, uh, that the Torah can stay with. Another answer is, is that dairy is a symbol of kindness, a symbol of love. Right? The mother cow out of her love, out of her self-sacrifice, gives of her own nutrients to a child. And that is, is, that, is that symbol of love that we are, we are trying to convey on, on Shavuos, reminding ourselves that the Torah is like milk from Hashem. The Torah is an act of love from Hashem. Hashem, out of His compassion for us, gave us this Torah. The Torah that gives us a rich, beautiful, and meaningful life. A life filled with, with, uh, with, with meaning and closer to Hashem. And recognize that the Torah is a, is a tremendous chesed from Hashem. We echo this, echo this in our prayers. Av Rabba Haftanu. Right? Hashem, you have, given, you have this great love, and out of this great love, you gave us the Torah. And if we, we resolve to emulate Hashem's love, to share that love with others. Another, another reason, a third reason, is that milk is a symbol of harmony. Milk, milk is a very unique food. With all other foods, you need to take life. To, to use them, you take a with, let's say with bread, you have to you have to cut down cut down wheats. Certainly with meat, you, ha, you have to you have to take life. So with all of the foods, whether vegetarian or, or not vegetarian, you have to take life. Whereas milk, no life is being taken. Right? Not, not, only, not only is is the cow's life not being taken, but it actually helps the cow. Actually, the cow. The Gemara says that the cow cow needs to give up the milk. If it doesn't give up the milk. It causes great pain to the cow. So therefore, milk is a, is a beautiful symbol of symbiosis. Therefore, milk is a symbol of harmony, a symbol that, that which, with which we want to express the Torah. The Torah is also a system whose goal is ultimately to bring shalom. As you say, All the paths of the Torah are peace. And, and really, the ultimate goal of the Torah is to by perfecting our character, perfecting humanity's character, we bring peace in the world, and ultimately, with that peace, we bring God's presence into the world. May all be zochet have a, a very meaningful shvuas, and may all recommit ourselves to to receive and and live by the Torah. And one of the shvuas. Together